that's the plan today. At 9.30, the Vaca crew is gonna pick me up at my Airbnb. And then from 10 o'clock all the way, whole day until 4, we're gonna be island hopping all around this Ayatutaki Lagoon. This is gonna be a pretty day, hopefully. Um, although right now, there's a lot of clouds in the sky. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not gonna be a cloud. So this is the view of the Aitutaki Lagoon and we're actually facing north right now. This is one of the uh, separation on the island and there's a like, natural canal going through here. So there's a runway at the airport and then this is start to go to town and all the way and there's a lot of uphill up here. Eventually it's gonna go to Tautu which is where I stay and my Airbnb is going to that path. Um, if you continue on this way, that's the southern tip of the Aitutaki Island and this whole thing is just a lagoon. On a clear day, this is a very, very pretty color. So this is completely protected by land formation. And so you can see in the, on the distance where all the big waves are gathering and some of the little islands that we're gonna visit later on today on the cruise. You can actually see every single one of them right here. Glorious. Part of the traveling, um, I caught in the rain. It's a 10 minute ride uh, and I'm just soaking wet. You just have to laugh because it's just part of the experience. I'm still not used to not wearing a seat belt actually. Oh, you gotta get used to it then. Yeah. No seat belt and there's no helmet on the bicycle. How no, awesome is that? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> crazy. is a small island called Motu Akatami. This is where the first international airport was located on the Cook Islands. The installation of the airport is way back to the Second World War where the American troops built this airport. Entertainment can come by to support the morale. Some of the famous visitors including Eleanor Roosevelt and John Wayne. Unfortunately we only have about 15 minutes on this island but we're just gonna walk around and I noticed there's a lot of hermit crabs on the beach so we just try our best not to step on them. Although I'm sure this is a nice island, uh, there's a lot of mosquitoes. I uh, wish I had my insect repellent. I just didn't realize there's gonna be this many mosquitoes up here. Bug bites.
turned out to be a great day actually. Uh, sun just came out and on the second stop I didn't even get off the boat because I flew the drone up. So this is the third stop of the day and we're gonna go snorkeling so hopefully it's gonna be fun. Hi to him. So let's go down. big sanctuary for all these fish. So just get off snorkeling. The water is actually perfect. When you first got in, it was a bit chilly, but once you start moving around, it's just awesome. This whole thing is a sanctuary, so they have giant trevallis. We came out to the back of the boat and we fed some of them. Uh, it was really, really cool. A few of the uh, giant clams that they have here in this sanctuary. And it's definitely one of my highlights here trip in the Cook Islands. <laughs> Behind me here is the famous post office in One Foot Island in Aitutaki. Unfortunately, today they are Ooh, closed. closed. So, oh my goodness! So it took me so long to get here, and 
they're closed so I'm a bit disappointed but no worries this is such a beautiful island no matter where you look it's so beautiful so I'm just gonna walk around uh, this is our last stop for today at the one foot island perfect day um, if you think about Cook Islands about you know the uh, South Pacific Islands think about how pretty it is sunny and just not raining but today is a blessing supposedly I was told earlier that it's not often when it rains in Aitutaki so today is a special day for them some other time there's a reason to go back that means we're about to go in the One Foot Islands closed. Uh, this guy is actually going to stamp out our passports. Uh, so we better be ready with our passports. our tour at the Baka Cruise uh, in Aitutaki here. It may not be the ideal tour because of the weather, but it is a great cruise. Uh, it's definitely one of the top things to do in Aitutaki. Food is great, the fellow passengers are awesome, and then we get snorkeling, we can be able to meet the giant Tripolis. You can see a giant clam. We visited one of the most remote post office in the world. Unfortunately, it's not open. But you can get your passport stamps. Staff are very friendly and nice. Place is just beautiful. You don't even know where to look because every single spot are just incredibly beautiful. If you happen to come to Aitutaki Cook Islands, definitely check out the Bunker Cruise. First stop in our Bunker Cruise is this Motu Aka. It's a tiny island. It's called the Motu Akotami. Motu Akotami. Akatami, Motu.